guys, welcome to Herbie's Reef. Um, today I wanted to show you guys this tank. We, we just got back from a week long vacation so everything looks kind of nasty. And you guys are going to see in a minute what happened. Of course everything happens when you're on vacation. But this was full of backup torches of my other colonies. And you can see that at, while we were gone, the brown jelly hit really bad. So obviously this tank has a really bad case of the brown jelly disease and I wanted to see if we could stop it in its tracks. Um, I tried this once before, the Cipro treatment that I tried on the tank that's full of algae right now and I somewhat blamed the Cipro on causing that but the more I've thought through it and researched it I don't think it's really the Cipro's fault. I think I had a nutrient spike and um, also it's just part of the tank's aging process and all of that. So we're gonna see, we're gonna try the Cipro again on this one and see how it goes. See if we can stop this. Maybe we can save this one colony. Um, obviously, these are too far gone. But um, I, what I've done, I've mixed, I've mixed a Cipro, one 500 gallon, or one 500 milligram pill in 50 mils of RODI, which makes 10 milligrams per mil and we're going to dose 0.125 milligrams per liter, which ends up being 9.5 milligrams for this tank because it's a 20 gallon tank, which is 76 liters. 76 times 0.125 is uh, 9.5, so we want 9.5 milligrams. So we're going to inject 0.95 of a milliliter in this tank. And uh, we'll repeat that a few times. I've got to look up the exact protocol. I will let you guys know. Um, but I'll be back with you in a second and we'll, I'll show you what okay, we're doing. Here I am and we're um, mixing this stuff up. I bought this stuff from Aquanest and they sell fish medications, bird medications, things like that. And it's Cipro 500 milligrams each capsule. And I've got 500 mils of RODI in here and I've put one capsule in it. So, and, and the protocol is we're going to repeat this. We're going to do 9.5 or point. I'm sorry, we're going to dose 9.5 milligrams today, which is 0.95 milliliters. And we're going to repeat that every two days for three doses total. And then we'll see how it goes. Okay, here we are back at the tank. And you can see I've got this little syringe. I've actually only point, put 0.9 milliliters in here because this is a 20 gallon frag tank, but I don't think it holds the full 20 gallons. Um, every time I've checked it, it doesn't seem to hold that much. So I'm going to do nine milligrams instead of 9.5 um, so you can't see it on the syringe too well it's not one to focus on the numbers um, but that's what this is i've been in contact i sent one of those on the big tank one of those big uh, those biology tests from aqua aqua biomics and uh, he said that that tank shows a little bit of brown jelly in it although those torches don't seem to catch it too often because i do those Kimmy clean treatments regularly and i also um it's a pretty healthy tank. So he, but he wants me to do this treatment on that tank also. He doesn't feel like that's what caused my issues on the other tank. He's done the tests and checked the biology before and after. And he said, if anything, the Cipro actually has made all the tanks he's tested a little bit better. So I am gonna go ahead and turn off all the flow and remove all this death um, because you wanna get as much of the brown jelly out of here as possible. I'm gonna take this one out and really get all that nastiness that's on this head. Uh, I'm going to try to get rid of all that grossness and we're going to see if we can save that guy and I for sure want to see if I can keep it from spreading to all this other euphilia because that I've already lost a bunch and uh, I hate, hate the thought of losing more. So I will keep you guys updated. We'll dose this um, two more times and we'll just see what happens. Hey guys, this is 48 hours after the first Cipro dose and as you can see everything looks pretty good. It hasn't harmed the clam in here. The hammers look great. Some of them were starting to kind of close up with all this brown jelly. Um, this torch, this green one in the back that has algae on the base, this algae's always been in this tank. It, this tank is a all in one and it's small and it tends to suffer with algae a little bit, but um, it's started to open up again. And then this one, I thought it would be a goner for sure. I have never saved a colony that had brown jelly this close to it. Um, without the whole colony going. And it's only been two days, so we don't know that it'll make it or not, but it has, I mean, it looks pretty good. So I'm hopeful that this treatment's gonna work. 
and then all of these definitely it hasn't spread that's the really good news um, and then as far as the Ghanis go they're all open and happy except for the ones I tried to clean the glass which you can tell I didn't successfully do it because it's dirty um, I gave it up because these Ghanis started closing which is bad for a video um, but they're all looking pretty good so I'm hopeful that maybe this will be a good technique I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, dose the big tank I, I think I mentioned this on the first part of the video but I sent one of those aqua biomics lab tests and it came back that it has um, something called I think he called it acrobacter but anyway it's a bacteria type that he said is um, known to correlate with brown jelly disease and since I do tend to lose a torch head maybe one every few months um, he suggests that I go ahead and treat that whole tank also and he has done the studies um, the guy that I think his name's Eli that owns aqua, aqua biomics anyway I, uh, he said he's done studies where he tested before the treatment and saw the uh, this type of bacteria then he tested during the treatment and then tested after and if anything the Cipro actually improved the tank biology so being a man of science and somebody who really likes to experiment on stuff like this I mean, I hate the idea of losing anything but I feel like there's enough evidence that this is a good treatment that I will probably go ahead and add a dose for that tank and I'm going to show you guys um, how it goes and how I calculate the dose and all that but for today I'm going to it, it's uh, three doses of 0.125 milligrams of Cipro per liter of tank water so for this tank I need 9.5 milligrams because this is a 20 gallon so and you do this every 48 hours times three and no, but I don't think it's absolutely essential that you do a water change after or run carbon or anything, but I've gone ahead and turned off the skimmers. I have this one just uh, bubbling so that it aerates the water, but I don't have it collecting. And I don't have carbon running right now, and I'll run it afterwards, and I'll probably do a, a water change after also just to, just to be safe. My understanding is Cipro is not very stable in light for very long, so not much of it actually sticks around in the tank water for very long. But today will be the second dose, it's been 48 hours, second dose of 9.5 milligrams in this tank, and then we'll dose the big tank um, tomorrow. Hey guys, it's morning time, and the lights are just coming up, and I'm able to see my torches a little better because they're not quite as puffy as they get in the middle of the day. And I just thought I'd show you guys, this is the main tank where it showed that bacteria that causes brown jelly. And if you look, even though my torches looked happy, sure enough, I'm losing a head right there. And I did have some of the torches that were in that other tank that got all the brown jelly in this tank. So my assumption is that uh, that it is truly in this tank. So I'm going to go ahead and um, treat this tank also for the with the Cipro. And this is a 180 gallon tank. So by my calculations, when you do that, you calculate it to liters, and then you multiply the number of liters times 0.125 milligrams per liter. So um, and then uh, you divide by 10 because my stock solution was one 500 milligram tablet in 50 mils, making it 10 milligrams per mil. So when I do that, I calculate that we're going to dose eight and a half milliliters every 48 hours times three doses. And I will um, show you guys how these torches look along the way. You can also see like, I mean, I know it's morning time, but like this one doesn't look super happy. Um, it does get better than this in the middle of the day, but it, it's still, even in the morning, it used to look better than that. Um, this this one hasn't looked right for a while. This is my Aqua SD Holy Grail, and it's had these short little tentacles for a while. So we will see how this new treatment works. Um, it's exciting if it works, but it's kind of scary because if it doesn't, I've got a lot, of, a lot in this tank. Um, but we will see how it goes, and I'll take you guys along and let you know. Okay, guys, here we are back at this tank. The treatments are finished on this one and on the large tank. And as you can see, I haven't had any major algae break outbreaks. Nothing else has died. I did um, obviously lose this head, but that one was gone when I started the treatment. And if you guys remember, I had lost about 15 heads of torches, 10 to 15 heads over here. And I have removed all of those because I mean, why leave death and dying and brown jelly in here? So at the start of the treatment, I did remove all of those. 
but then I've done the Cipro dose times three. And on this tank, I went ahead and did a water change afterwards. On the other one, I haven't done that yet. I'm just, uh, I don't know that it's necessary. I am gonna turn uh, the carbon back on in the other tank. And, uh, and I'm going to uh, turn the skimmer up a little bit and hopefully skim out the rest of it. The skimmer did skim out a lot of the medicine after I turned it back on on this tank. So I do believe that it is uh, taken up pretty well from the skimmer. But anyhow, as you can see, it's done pretty well. So for my short term analysis of this, I would say it's a success. Uh, let me go to the big tank and show you how that one's looking. I will say my Ghanis have closed up a lot during this treatment. Um, it, this one closed most of the whole treatment. So I don't know if they didn't like it or if it was coincidence. Um, but one in my big tank is closed also. I'll show you. Here we are in the big tank, and I'm sorry, you're, when I'm coming here right now, the blues are pretty heavy. Even with this orange filter on, it's pretty blue. But um, that's just how it's going to have to be, I guess. Um, but you can see most of these Ghanis are pretty happy. But this one up top, it hasn't been real open. And then this one, this one we call Fairy Fields, it's just now opening back up. So I do, do think the Ghanis kind of close up during the treatment. I don't think it harmed them at all, because if you look, I've got all these frags of the same Fairy Fields, and those never closed. And uh, these frags, these are the TCK space balls, and they looked terrible. I had them in the new system, the new frag tanks, which still have something wrong with them. I don't, I don't know what it is, but um, anyhow. I've sent an ICP and, and I'm waiting on the results, but with my, just as my luck goes, it got stuck in customs, so I don't even know if that sample is going to be good. But anyway, that's another story for another time. Um, but that tank's not doing well, but those were looking terrible, and they've actually kind of uh, perked up since I put them in here. Um, I don't think it's the Cipro, though. I think it's just time. But most of my torches have done really well. I will say I did lose this one, which was one we were really liking. It was that super long tentacle one, and uh, it was beautiful. But it was on its way out when I did the treatment. It had already started to peel on one side. And then we'd lost one head of this one, which uh, also happened the day I decided to treat it. So I haven't lost any new heads, which if you saw how fast that brown jelly was spreading, I mean, my daughter said it happened overnight, went from the torches looking good to all those torches with jelly on top the next day so th this was a powerful strain and to have lost a, nothing after well to have lost that the just this one is really all i've lost since uh since i did the cipro treatment that's pretty good and i originally had blamed this treatment i've done it one other time and i had blamed the treatment for causing the algae bright outbreak in the cube aquarium but i think that maybe it was more me i, I the more i've checked those that aquarium's just having trouble controlling the nutrients. I've started dosing no pox. I, I, I don't know, I had a algae scrubber. This fish photo bombs so bad. Um, anyway, I had an algae scrubber on it and I thought that was enough. And I was checking my nutrients. They, I, I swear they weren't that high when it developed the algae, but for whatever reason, the nitrates have climbed pretty high and um, I'm still fighting it. I d am winning the battle. Uh, gradually on that one but anyway I don't think that I don't see any algae for outbreak on this one I haven't had any dinos no cyano nothing from the Cipro treatment so I think that probably it was uh, just coincidence that I had just treated it with Cipro and I, I I do tentatively say that this treatment works although I will keep you guys updated if I lose anything I don't love the way this torch looks although it has not looked good for a long time this is my aqua SD holy grail and I don't know, it's just always had these short tentacles like this. It's got plenty of flesh on it and it's split. I bought it as one, one head and it is split. It's looked like this most of the time I've owned it. Not quite this bad though. Um, so I don't know, I'm hoping the Cipro will maybe bring it out some, but time will tell. Um, but I will give the warning that if you guys decide to do this treatment, please don't take it as me saying that it's a good idea. I'm saying that I think it worked for me and um, other than that, I cannot tell you if uh, it's a good idea or a bad idea. It's just uh, something I tried and it did seem to work on my tank. It's something I will use again in the future if I need it. In fact, I think I will actually send those aqua biome tests probably every few months now just to make sure I don't have any of that brown jelly um, bacteria growing in this tank. And if I do, I will probably preventatively do this Cipro treatment. Um, and hopefully, I don't know. I, I found torches to be one of the most frustrating corals to own just because they're happy one day and they're dead the next. 
So I'm very hopeful that this could be the end of brown jelly disease. That may be too much to hope for, but, um, but I would love it if it did happen. So let me go, know what you guys think. And I would, uh, we finally reached a thousand subscribers and I really appreciate that. And I, everyone who subscribed, I really appreciate you. And I would love it if the rest of you guys would uh, go ahead and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions about dosing this or anything like that. I'll try to add a link below the video to where I pick up my Cipro from. And, uh, and I'll, I'll try to add the dosing instructions if I can figure out how to do that. I am not the most technologically advanced person, but hopefully my wife knows how to do it. Until next time, keep your reefs growing and happy and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, bye.